Well, this is Trap Red making a video with my tablet because my stupid Obama phone, its battery's overheating and I wanted to get this done in today, but I'm not going to be able to. And the other thing is, is that this wind keeps messing me up, man. It's really starting to piss me off and I lost a video or two. I don't know how that happened, didn't load up right or whatever. So I'm going to have to cover this business again but it's too late because i already took the thing out look see see i took it out i took the pot out it goes right here like so was held in with the pot nut and the knob and you have to use this i think i covered that this is the wrong size you need a 1 16th hex you also need quarter inch for these Right here, I believe it's quarter inch, so I don't quote me on it. Whatever that gap is, I'm I don't have the right tool. I'm sorry, I apologize. It's put it this way. It's less than three eighths. So I'm believing it is a quarter inch. Don't quote me on it though. So we got that removed so we can fix this wire. Alright? these knobs here and I want to put this stuff back together I got this hammer holding this because the wind keeps pushing this thing over and this little piece right here catches with this and then it just creates hell for me and it's like pissing me off let me explain something to people that don't know about these oscilloscopes see this metallic snaky cord back here this is what's called a delay line if they use this to delay <clears throat> the display going to the CRT, okay? And what it does is it creates a certain delay because the difference in time between this point here and where it comes in are different, okay, time-wise. And that allows it to do its thing, which is to compensate for the sweep time it takes to go from here to here. So anyways, uh, just a little scope logic I'm gonna flip this board down and show you how to do this pull these up Boop. drop this back down like so this one twist is the number one it's the uh, pin should be numbered marked with a little arrow see the little arrow on the extreme it would be my left should be like this it lines up with the arrows on this so this is one how do i know because that one's twisted that's how and then this one's two you make sure you get these pins lined up and they go all go in and then just put them in like that you be careful you know don't try not to jimmy everything around and then, uh, as far as this is concerned, this pot can go back in, <clears throat> so I can actually put these knobs back in so they won't get uh, lost. And the way they do is just, you just line them up and push them back on. Same way you pull them off, only reverse. That way they won't get lost. Cause you'll have hell getting parts for these old scopes now. <clears throat> it's like 25 years ago that they were built. So Tektronics doesn't service them anymore. And that leads them, leaves a market niche for techs like me that can service them and know how to. I look forward to doing more. I like it. I really love doing this stuff actually. It's, it's a joy to have something to work on. For me, personally, uh, yeah, because oftentimes I'm bored. I don't have anything to work on, and I have no job because I'm retired. So, anyways, um, put the screws back in the little screw holes, even the one that got bent, and then just uh, screw them back down, screw the board back down so it doesn't go floppy on you and break something else. Um, 
we're not done by with this project by any means. I have to remove that chip, the U7202 that I covered in the video that got thrown away by accident. So I'm going to flip it over this board over after I tighten these little um, machine screws down, and then we will take a look and I'll show you where that problem area resides because you won't be able to see it on the other video the other video unfortunately apparently got discarded and I only had six seconds of it or something something stupid anyways um, that doesn't seem to be right There's another screw that goes right here. We'll just put this down. It's boring, I know. Watch a guy screw. <laughs> hey, come on, let's watch, watch me screw. <laughs> here, let me put this down so I can get done with this quick. I use two hands, you know, this thing is jamming all around and things get misaligned and then things fall out. And Next thing you know, you're cursing and swearing, like I always do anyways. And people go, why does he swear so much? Because I'm a technician <laughs> and a mechanic. <laughs> it's that combination, I guess, that really gets you. If it was just one or the other, it'd be all right, but it's both. I don't know if that screw's right. That screw's not right. Something's wrong. It's wrong screw in the wrong screw hole. Something, anyway. Flip it over. Let's just cover this base something's wrong here the board got shifted and something so discombobulated because it got knocked around <sighs> you can see that I'm gonna have to take it loose you can see it see how it's kind of misaligned and it's not going into the screw hole right because it's the standoff is getting pinched or something. I'm gonna have to take that loose. Anyways, let me show you where the problem is. I traced the problem with the meter right up here to U7202, to this pin right here, pin eight, which is this guy right here. Watch. Take the meter again and hook it up so you can see. Go to the uh, ground post connect the ground post to the negative lead connect it to the negative lead turn the meter on make sure it's in ohms make sure it's in ohms function and then probe the short and I'll show you I'll prove it See? Short. Now here's ground. Pin three. It's short too. Whoa. How can the supply be shorted to ground? Transistor's blown out. That's how. And that's the problem. That's why it's not. That's why uh, the the trace, the five volt supply, is getting sucked or sourced to ground. And then, so for um, when you first power it up. There's enough juice in the circuit for the filter cap to hold it up. But as soon as that device starts breaking down under voltage and shorting the ground, it sucks the supply and it goes up and there's no five volt supply. So that's the whole problem. That's the whole problem in a nutshell. Okay, I'm gonna take this loose and fix this because apparently that board got jimmy, which means I have to mess around with all this junk, you know? So, something's underneath it holding it so all right this is trapped red 